and let the recording begin what's really poppin friends my name is joey sometimes i play games and now is one of those times uh so we left off we took care of chuck and we got all the way to the lake of rage to interact with lance and some other guy uh i did a few things off recording but really the most notable being that you'll see porky is a significantly higher level now at 31 I attempted to get a metal coat by catching wild magnemite. I caught about, uh, I'd say about 20 or so. None of them had one on them, um, a metal coat. And I found there is a way that could simplify the process rather than keep catching them and to keep checking them. And again, this is Pokemon Christmas Legacy by... A hack by Smith Plays Pokemon. His channel is in the description. And in fact, I think it's him who has this tip, which is if you acquire the TM for Thief, which is in this rocket hideout, you could just use Thief on the Wild Magnemite, and if it has the Metal Coat, you will obtain it. So let's get this party started. Nitto Queen use Hyper Beam. What took you, Joey? Just as we thought. That strange radio signal is coming from here. The stairs are right here. I could... I... I, I played this game before. <laughs> Joey, we should split up. To check this place, I'll go first. I have to leave. You two can handle this. Right? Sure. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. Arg, you found the secret stairway. Urgh. That guy's Pokemon are tough. Mine are going to be tough, too. Uh, as you can see, we kept on the side there. Um, we have two Pokemon in the daycare right now, which really just dawned on me. What an excellent tool that I have not utilized growing up because I felt that Hoppled will not bode well in this part of the game. There's a lot of Poison Mons. And we have an Eevee there because I have a Thunderstone, and it may not be a bad idea to evolve that uh that puppy so we're gonna put a rocky up front i'm trying to remember who has the xp share we'll find out momentarily our episode objective really the only thing i can see us doing today is completing this rocket hideout i can't remember how quick or how long it takes i'm not sure which gym leader i am going to face after the rocket hideout is complete so that's really just all we're focused on today and then our little prop bet for the day how many whiteouts will happen before clearing this rocket hideout? I'm pretty confident that we won't get knocked out, so the under is at minus 200. All right, this is going to cause a thing. Hey, intruder alert! Rather than call the police, you fight a 10-year-old in Pokemon. I mean, what are you going to do? Call the police, because you're a team rocket. That's not very good. So the rocket had it. I was recording, uh, recording, editing some backyard football. I just needed a little bit of a break and decided to come over. And actually, once I played in the last episode, I, I was really getting into it because now the game really opens up at this point. And as I said in the prior episode, this is the easy part. Recording the playthrough is the easy part. I just play a game, I talk, and... Because the, the style of video is entertainment to many, Albert has the um, XP share. I think we'll keep it on him for a little bit. This is the easy part. It's the editing. Uh, you're the poison ground. You're ground flying, right? You look like you should be poisoning your purple. Purple is poison. Purple is a fruit. Anyway, I discovered, like I said, I, it dawned on me in the last video that, you know, why not utilize the daycare? Because I, I don't want to give up on skip on hop old uh, jump bluff. So let's just keep it in the daycare. Get its levels up. Dang, I failed. And the second guy comes right. It's my turn. There's no escape. I don't know whether or not I want to turn off that switch. That deactivates the alarm because you do get a... If you keep them coming, you're going to get a good amount of XP. And... If this were vanilla, 
yeah, keep the XP coming because it, it becomes very scarce, 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 <laughs> uh, towards this point of the game. Oh, that didn't do much at all. Yikes. And we got this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this will probably just be an hour. And then now I sit down. I'm like, okay, it could be longer than that. So that's why I'm only focused on Rocket Hideout for, for this episode. Had a pause. And I <laughs> People had to come downstairs for stuff. And they're like whispering to me as if that's going to make a difference. You know, the, the sound of the stairs is significant oh boy so I just had to pause everything this is why I'm not doing live streams yet it's just little things like that I mean I know I can pause a stream but then everyone's just sitting around twiddling their thumbs so I'll keep it like this for now okay with Rocky about to get knocked out let's just bring in Porky that way Rocky can still get some XP we also did stock up on potions, etc., etc., because this is this is a bit of a of a trek to get out of here. I think you can use dig, but if we left right now anyway, we just tripped the alarm again. Oh, another one! Jeez. Okay, this looks like it'd be a good time for Quilliam. I would put uh, Albert out there, but he's already got the XP share on. I guess that is one advantage of doing things set. I'm going to flame wheel up front. Doing things set on set and not shift is that when you switch out, that last Pokemon still gets a portion of XP. Oh, I guess that's good. I guess that actually is beneficial considering we're still in the pre-everybody-gets-exp days. Surveillance cams are in the Pokemon statues. We'll keep up here eyeing until your trip a secret switch. So, in the Rocket Manual, somewhere, it has to say, when you are defeated in a Pokemon battle, you must reveal secrets that will help lead to our untimely demise. Oh, yeah, it's a game. It's a game. It's just a game. So heal up. Super potions are great for this point of the game. The game. Yeah, just enough X. Uh, just enough to heal up. Um, I'll keep Rocky in front for now. So. Uh, the, and the thing is, too, when they come out to battle you again, it's just the same exact two NPCs, the same exact team. So it's really... I'm just going to turn it off, because there are going to be other battles. Uh, we've got to battle the scientist guy. This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound intruders like you. This was made possible by intruders like you. In the original, I used to think that the back of his shirt was like udders in between his legs. Oh, we haven't seen enough of you off stream. Yeah, there's only like a 10% chance, I think, of the metal coat. So, I mean, I'm not like disappointed. I don't feel like I wasted time. But if we can get Thief, and at least what that would do is, on the first attack, if it doesn't have metal coat, then we just get the heck out of there and try again. But what was good about it is there are a lot of normal type Pokemon in that area. So I just let off with Rocky. And if it wasn't a Magnemite, then, you know, I would just hit it with Karate Chop and move on.
I don't know what I'm trying to do. Or I guess I should just bring out. I was going to bring out a <laughs> Rocky, but I forgot it has that. Alright, just throw some rocks at it. See what happens. I can't remember what Porygon's like, stats really are. Okay, it's got decent defense. Alright, just bring out a uh, Shack. Clean things up. Why was it that Porygon was not a psychic type and just a normal type? I guess because of the conversion feature or gimmick that it could just be really anything. It's crazy to think how like Porygon was like the early version of like type null where you could just put any disc or whatever on it to make it any type you wanted to. Scientist Jed? Jed is not the name for a scientist. All right, I'll divulge a secret about our hideout. See, it's in the it's in the handbook. That thing on the floor up ahead is a warp panel. If you step on it, you'll be warped back to the end trance. Okay, click on that. Secret switch. Better press it. That's always good. Guard spec. Oh boy. Oh boy. Glad we glad we found that. So that tile is all the way there, and I guess because if you needed to get out. You could. In fact, let's just let's just test it right now. Can we dig out of here? Yes, we can. So I'm gonna dig out and just heal up and be right back. Okay, I didn't necessarily need to heal up, but I figured if let's test dig and if it worked, then we may as well just go heal up. Yeah, it takes you back outside to mahogany. Okay. Now, I remember these panels over here. When you walked across them, you forced a wild battle every time. And I'm just curious to see if there's anything. It was usually like coughing and Voltorbs and stuff. Let's see if there's anything different this time. Coughing. That'll be worth a shot. Rocky can get some stuff. Oh, wow. That was a lot for a resistant self-destruct. Geo dude, that was a, that, that's interesting. Huh. Full torbs. Oh, okay, I get it now. So they're all Pokemon that can learn self destruct. Got it. Got it. Interesting choice. And then there's a guy here. Heh <laughs> Feeling lucky. Punk. Not really, man. I, I haven't, I haven't placed any sports bets in a while. Kagaskon. Um, let's not. Yeah, let's not mess around. I feel like it has a fighting attack too. Let's just get Porky in there. Again, you breed a Kangaskhan, it's gonna be born with a that Kangaskhan baby in its pouch. I can't determine whether or not the low kick, the function of it does more damage if the Pokemon is heavier, applies. Well, it looked like it did right there. He, jeez. Oh, and we're using Seismic Toss off camera, off recording. That actually helped us with catching uh, the Magnemites that we were trying to get Metal Coat through. Kaboom! Let me see, does he tell you anything about... I don't even know where the traps are planted. You'll just have to collect your courage and walk. <laughs> Collecting courage is a tough thing to do. Because uh, there was one thing I was thinking about was running the Geodude line instead of Onyx and Steelix. I, we're already six badges in with Rocky. He could be kept on hand, you know, but at least with the Geodude, we could evolve it all the way to Graveler or to Golem in this ROM without having the need of the item. And I mean, we're not just talking about the the evolutionary stones. That was not as messy of a process as it may sound. But this metal coat thing, we're talking 10% chance of a wild Pokemon to hold it. 
And it might be more of a problem. Alright, we don't want Lance. Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my op I for <laughs> I forgot he heals them for you. Joey, let's give it our best for Pokemon. Give it your best for Pokemon. Don't give it less. You rotten little pest. Beaten by a 10 year old gonna bring down your terrorist organization. Alright, I'm gonna send out Venomoth. Can't remember if Venomoth was considered flying or not. Well, that sounds good either way. Uh, not as much as I would have liked it to do. Now, I don't have a live chat, so I can't get a vote in for whether to hold on to Rocky, try to get it to Evolve to Steelix, or go and get the Geodude. Like, it, it definitely serves a purpose on the team, but if you can get the Evolved form, why not? Only thing I think about now is you get a Pokemon that's not going to be weak to fire. It's going to be weak to... Ooh, Rock Slide. Okay. Definitely making this case for sticking on the team. <sighs> eh, I mean, again, we have the daycare. That's like a bench kind of deal. All right, you know, the old me would, you know, just go around you be like, haha, I got you, sucker. But let's fight you, because we're not butt juice. The door won't open? Well, duh. It has to have a password the only Team Rocket knows. But if I defeat you, you, by law, you have to give me it. It's a good thing other things in life don't work that way. I think what I'll do is, off the recording again, I'll try to get a metal coat, since we'll have Thief. And then, if it's a no-go, I think I'm willing to catch Geodude, evolve it to Graveler, evolve it to Golem. Um, but then the other thing, too, is the, the XP boost that Rocky gets, no one else can get that. Because everyone else is going to be an original Pokemon of mine. There we go. And I was like, talk I, I got to figure out the best times to do this too. Because the, the other thing I'm... There are times I'm playing this game, and now I'm really getting to the game. That's how I can tell I am, because I'm not talking as much, and I'm not making as funny, as many funny quirks. Oh, come on. I'm not making as many funny quirks, which I know some of you would be like, you weren't making any to begin with. Just depends how you feel, I guess. What? I lost. Sure did, Buster. Yeah, I'm just a grunt. <laughs> I'm just an NPC. I don't know the password. Too bad for you. All right, do I have a revive on hand? Because now I'm even starting to think, uh, having doubts about Rocky. Um, you know, do I want to go and get... Um, well, Albert's at 30 now, so I think we can take his XP and give it to Velicious. Now, what would really help with Velicious is getting in... You don't get Ice Beam this early. The best you get is, like, Icy Wind from Price. You know, the Ice Attack would really help for coverage, especially with Claire coming up. Um, let's put Shaq up front. I mean, a lot of a lot of these uh, Pokemon are going to be in Shaq's favor. It takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. 
That rock you there very graciously told me so. After I whooped that ass. Joey, let's get the tip the, the passwords. Eric, the guy in the cape gave me a whooping. Basically. Hey, you. I used to work for Sylph, but now I run research for Team Rocket. Isn't that like a Stockholm Syndrome <laughs> case? You know, Team Rocket took over Sylph. A meddlesome child like you needs to be punished. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Simple as that. Uh, Future Sight. I never really understood Future Sight. I, I, mean, I, I get the concept of it, but why not just attack in the moment? So I'm going to say, nah, son. I was like, oh, I should switch to Rocky. I'm like, nah, I'm right to use a blood juice special defense. Yeah, that's too easy. And it was a crit. A mere tactical error cost me. You call that a mere tactical error? Your birth was a mere tactical error. <laughs> oh, I think I'm funny at least. Do I know the password? Maybe, but no weakling's gonna get it. You gonna put me to the test? Yeah, long hair don't care. Did you know that Arbok spelled backwards is Cab Cobra? Bet you didn't know that. It's actually Cobra, and I'm not just talking about my bra. That girl's getting on my nerves. I'm not you. Ugh, I'm like one of your only viewers. Shut up. Ah, Sneasels. Um, the Sneaky Weasel. Oh, I get it now. Now, I do believe there was something said about Pokemon that have Sinnoh evolution. So, like, how Sneasel has Weevil. I believe that means Pokemon like Sneasel get a boost in their stats to kind of equate to that evolution. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, I was gonna say don't be don't be butt juice, Quilliam. All right, stop. I'll tell you. The password of the boss's room is slow cocktail, but it's useless unless you have two passwords. Well, doesn't Lance have the other one? Uh, someone's got to get healed up. Someone almost died just now. Yeah, Quilliam. Uh, and Rocky, I guess you could have some too. Okay. I mean, definitely should be giving Quilliam a lot of exposure with, uh, I mean, one of two gyms coming up that's in his favor. But, I mean, there's going to be so much poison in here. I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by experiment. Blah, 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 blah. Yikes. Mitch, you're scaring us. Hey, Chode. Electrode is going to outspeed. Let's just put Rocky in there in case it self-destructs. Would, the, would this would this NPC be that, be that stupid? Let's see. Okay, not yet at least. I remember Koga would do that. He'd self-destruct on you.
Wow, wow, he is oh wow, he's you're 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 an idiot. How are you a scientist? How are you a scientist? I think that's like the first like thing they check for. Like, are, are you just a total moron? You checked off yes and they still let you Mitch. Thinking is my strong suit, not my battling. Clearly, clearly, I'm glad you're honest. If we turn up <laughs> We turn up the power of our radio signal for broadcast nationwide. The very thought excites me. Yeah, I think I, you need to get laid. All right, I think this is uh this is our buddy right here. Yuck! 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 I'm back, mother, the uh, uh, hugger. Oh, yo, yo! I remember you from the well. I remember you well. You're challenging me again? Oh, you're nuts, but you have guts. That was exhausting. Rocket Edo wants to battle. It's got to be a reference to something, because only he has the name. Here's a ball of shadows. Here's a punch of thunder. Oh, I've got a I've got an electric a punch of electricity for you too. Yikes. Oh, that's right. He had like all these babies. That's what it was. Not like real babies, but you know. Uh, uh, whatever. There's nothing, nothing can be done about it now. Nice. Now, one thing I liked about the early gens was that if you were poisoned and you knocked the Pokemon out, the poison didn't come into play for that turn like a bonus almost i feel like that's how it should remain i because i feel like it it switched up nah that's funny i thought swift still hit even if you were underground because the whole point was it doesn't miss All right, Edo, nice job, buddy. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> the password of the boss's room is. <laughs> Imagine if that was really the password. That would be kind of hard to remember and uh, enter. All right, antidote. Let's dote you up. Hey, is this thief over here? One of these two is thief, right? Next special. Protein. I think it's in one of those rooms uh, where you open the doors. It might be it over there. Uh, so we have to get to the boss's door. What are you supposed to be? Ice heal. Yeah, that'll come in handy. That'll really come in handy. Alright, so I think it's somewhere over here. Is there anything fun on here? No. No. Can't destroy the world. I can't blow up the world on that. Oh. <laughs> you just ran in for a kiss. Oh, a kid. I really like... Oh, okay. Oh, good. I don't really like this, but eliminate you I must. 
thought he was going to say he really liked it. Because a lot of people in this game, man, I don't know. In this original dialogue game, let me make it clear. Cool, I like uneventful turns. Oh, oh, look at you withdrawing. Well, I got something for that behind. Watch. Ever had a cold punch to the noggin? Huh, a little, a little underwhelming there. All right, tank it, tank it, tank it. Very good. And very good. Now, can you take care of... What? Nah, nah, we gotta switch up. We gotta switch up. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, sludgy. Oh, that's right. And poison. Um, psychic is not resistant to poison, even though it's super effective against it. Make it make sense. Yummy, yummy. It's like. Sticky coffee. Let's flame wheel it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, just uh just set this rat on fire. This rat is on fire. This rat is on fire. Okay. There we go. I like to see this. I like to see this. And level 30. Okay, so we're getting everyone leveled up. I knew I'd lose. <laughs> That's sad. I got wiped out on the last mission by a kid, too. When we were abducting Pokemon, this kid with long red hair and mean looking eyes just creamed me. Ew. Okay, uh, I'm trying to remember if a battle happens here. Um, I don't remember seeing this generic NPC sprite before. Now. This isn't a battle, this is just an interaction, right? Didn't I tell you that I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. It's not my fault my team is so useless. I'm furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like him. But it makes me question myself. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Could it be that love made his team so powerful? He pushes you again. Like, all that. Just to tell you. I think I suck because I don't love my Pokemon. Uh, let's go. Yeah, ju I just want to be safe. Let's go Let's go heal up before we uh, open the door. Okay, and just like that, we're back from the hospital. So, <laughs> let's uh, figure out what this guy's all about. I can't remember if this was a Crystal event. If this is a the Crystal Legacy event. But I just don't seem to remember this character being in... No, I think he, you know what, I think he was, yeah, you do battle him, but I think his overworld sprite was just really simple. Joey entered the two passwords and the door opened. Is that a, is that a hair or a beret? What? Who are you? This is the office of our leader, Giovanni. Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, he's been in hiding, but we are certain he'll come back someday to assume command again. I won't let you interfere with our plans. I'm gonna fight you for this cannoli. That sounds good right now, some cannolis. Yeah, it's this guy. 
Rocket Archer. Oh, yeah, I think, um, what, in the remakes he got named, but not in the original? Okay. I might feel better putting... You know what? He's, he's already in front. Let's just dig deep. Weezing is a Pokemon that I all oh jeez that's right the defense is high ah oh, no uh, that's 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 not right Weezing is a Pokemon I always wanted to like that I always wanted to have on my team just because I don't know it just it does look cool something about the poison Pokemon but the poison Pokemon really had a bad were dealt a really bad hand in the early generations in term in terms of being oh my gosh. All right, well, you, you gotta you gotta knock him out. In terms of being butt juice, in terms of not really having any strengths and weaknesses to psychic, weaknesses to ground, you know, that was pretty significant. Um, I'm gonna switch you out because we could, if they have a poison mon later, we could use you. Except for the fact that I think if we bring him back out, he's going to get poisoned. Damn, Taros. There we go. We like to see it. We like to see the crits. We like to see it. Not sure. I think they're getting close to evolving, Porky and uh, Shaq. Okay... Um, <sighs> just seismic toss it. I don't. I don't know what else to really use, and I don't know who to really switch into because he may have ha Hound Dower or Hound Doom as the final one, and I'd rather say Felicious for that. Okay. All right, here's my best plan. Okay, Shaq has is not going to lose 23 points on poison right now. But it's going to hit poison damage. Oh, no, okay. I used to think that when you brought it out, maybe that's how it is currently. When you brought it out, would the uh, poison damage come in? Let's go Shadow Ball. Ooh, look at that tanking it. And, yes, yeah, Surf will knock me out. Okay, well, now... I feel fine bringing out Vlicious to I'm just going I'm just going off the assumption that it does have he has Hound Hour or Hound Doom as the final Pokemon. So uh, just give it a bite. All right, cool. Oh, it's going to get double bubble now. That's cool. And it is Hound Doom. Okay. Already at Hound Doom. Okay. Um, I feel good. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Basically, like the evil version of Growl. Nice, delicious. Battle so delicious. Level thirty-one. Yeah, you earned those. You earned those. Uh. Dog treats tonight. Everyone's a dog. I, I couldn't do a thing. That's right. Giovanni, please forgive me. On the day of your daughter's wedding. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. <laughs> that would hurt. Oh, that would hurt like, like crap. The password is Hail Giovanni. It doesn't even make its cry. Oh, that's right. Everyone, everyone is hurt right now. Uh, well, I mean, we still have to face the electrode, but I mean, they're just gonna self-destruct the whole time. I remember in one run that I did. It might be when I played Heart Gold Soul Silver. I picked up the electrode just because to have an electric Pokemon it was already level thirty. There is the TM for Thief, so that could help us with getting the metal coat as opposed to having to catch all these magnemite and 
then checking the PC if they have um, Metal Coat, and then releasing them when they don't. Now, there is another fight. Yes, I remember there being another fight, so... But does Lance heal us? That I don't remember. I'm not going to take the chance, and I'm just going to go heal up. I mean, we'll still trigger the battle no matter what. And we're going to... Uh, I'm going to give Albert back his... Back the XP share, because he hasn't even been in... He hasn't even appeared in a battle since we started the run and um that is a uh, you know not not ideal wait what is quilliam uh, quilliam's not holding his charcoal let's give him his charcoal come on there we go and then let's give delicious the mystic water Come on, man. You can speed this up, man. Yeah, you're right. I can. And then what does Rocky have? Um. Yeah. Oh, he has the hard stone. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's get back into the thing. And battle the rocket lady. I'm I'm pretty sure Lance heals you up anyway, but I just figured if we have Dig, why not in case he doesn't? Okay, so I think we have to come from this way. Oh no, you actually have to like yeah, that's right. You have to actually interact with the door. The door is closed. Joey entered the password. The door opened, and then you go inside. Hold it right there. We can't have a brat like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at this. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, baby. I'll get ready to be thrashed. Uh. Uh. <coughs> hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. These are freaks in this game. Glad you had an accomplice. Where's your sense of honor? As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to... <laughs> Wasn't it Archer? Now it's because Archer ran away. It's this girl. And you can tell she has that fancy jacket. Ariana. Ariana's always a pretty name. Alright, let's try to make this quick. I'm been a little fatigued from sitting down and playing a game made for children. Damn. Damn, okay, that was a lot. Um, switch out to Rocky, because again, I want Quilliam to get his XP. Because I would used to, even if like the Pokemon was fainted, use a revive in battle on the Pokemon that got knocked out for no reason other than just so it gets its XP. Like, I'm not even concerned about bringing it back into battle. Persian. Does he really seriously think that the name of it is Persian? It would be a cool name, though. It feels pronounced that way. Uh, okay. We're, I don't want to do this. Come on. Oh, you're going to withdraw it? Well, that was very good for neutral damage. Oh, that's so strange to see the NPCs use fly. I feel like I've never seen NPCs use fly. 
All right, let's see if it does it again. Yeah, it is. So then let's bring out, let's just bring Rocky back. Okay, so we already know that this this stupid mud slap just get some screeches on it. All right, then we can bring this defense down. Okay, um, we'll just let it knock it knock us out because no point of bringing in. No point of uh, carouseling when we just know it's going to mud slap us to death. And then there's that too. If we withdrew, then we would have gotten hit with fan attack anyway. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, Clem is poisoned. Albert, you haven't been doing anything, my guy. Let's, uh, let's do some stuff. And it won't be able to hit you with mud slap either. Yay! Some bonus money. You want to fly? I gotta stay fly. And that's why you keep Screech. That's why you keep Screech. There you go, Albert. Earning your, uh... What do owls eat? Corn? Oh no, you get me serious. Whoa, what, what, what happened to your accuracy? Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. Okay, well, at this point I thought everyone was getting poisoned. I guess I could have side beamed it, but let's get the stab on the flying. Okay, that <laughs> side, side beam might have done more. Ooh, just by a smidgen. Let's see. Will Sybean take care of it? Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, well. I, I mean, we don't need much to happen here. Quilliam, I know you're poisoned, but... This is what you're made for, and let's just knock it out. Get the XP, illuminate the R, and call it an episode. Beautiful. Tick, you're really strong. It's too bad. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. I mean, I'm not opposed to applying. Getting a job out here is tough. This hideout is done for, but that's fine. The Broadcast X Pariment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. You could just burn it down and make it a Costco or something. I mean, that actually would be a good idea. Enjoy yourself all you can. Foo -foo 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 -foo. That did it. We defeated all the rockets here, but I'm concerned about the young guy about in the process. Sorry, Joey. I saw how well. You were doing so I just hung back it shark you were, yeah you were just you just didn't feel like doing anything now all they're left to do is to turn off that odd regular signal uh, 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 it's this machine that's causing all the problems I don't see a switch on it we have no choice we have to make all the electrode faint that should stop the machine from transmitting that signal it's no fault the Pokemon so it makes me feel guilty but I mean whatever let's split the job you kill, you kill those, and I'll kill these ones. So, uh, let's get Rocky up and going for this. Just because I know some of these are going to self-destruct, and... 
I'm not really concerned about catching it. You could just catch them too to uh, take the place of knocking them out, but I don't really care to have an electrode. I mean, it's kind of a. Is it like a one trick pony? I don't know. It's like the fastest, so I mean, that, that definitely helps. If one of these are shiny, though, then that's a different story. Let's see. Nah, standard. See, in Hard Gold Soul Silver, I think these guys were level 30. That Sonic Boom really does do work. That fixed damage move. And I'm more I'm more wary of it self-destructing, but maybe its AI is smarter, I don't know. Oh yeah, and then Rocky's hurt too, so let's give it an antidote. So I don't have to deal with that step counter thing. Alright, nice 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 try, Electrode. Lance shouldn't feel as bad if it's like purposely <laughs> knocking itself out. Okay, no shinies, that's good. Okay, now I don't feel bad. That's odd. That odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of the Pokemon. Oh yeah, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. H16 Whirlpool. Yeah, no one really has a need for it. That's Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon to get across wild water. But keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with the badge from Mahogany Gym. It's a rule that I put in place. Joey, the journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? It'd be nice if we had a yes or no option. I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye Let me know if you want to get a burger sometime. Okay, so, uh, let's... You know what? I'm okay with battling these ones again because I kind of want to catch the Geodude. So these are like one-shotters, right? All of them are going to use self-destroy. That must be the only move they know. Or not. Well, they're all coughing right now. I guess it's a randomizer. I was trying to see if Geodude was going to show up again. But I guess for Rocky, it's... Alright, there we go. There's a Geodude. Oh, it's a girl Geodude. A girl? Uh, I'm just going to assume that it's going to immediately throw a self-destruct at us, so let's just see what happens. Okay, cool. Oh, and I already got the perfect name for it. Alright, so the Rock Pokemon. Proud of their sturdy bodies, they bash against each other in a contest to prove who is harder. Ayo. Well, obviously, the name has to be Geo Girl. It's not a dude anymore, so Geo Girl. Alright, that's cool. We haven't called a Pokemon in a while, and um, again, I, I don't know how confident I am that we're going to be able to evolve Rocky into Steelix, and then they go away, the guy who blocks the gym goes away, but I don't think the Grandma shows up in that shop until you've defeated the... Speaking of defeat, I just remembered... I uh, just remembered, there we go. We have our second R illuminated. That means uh, we've defeated the hideout and we just have the radio tower left. Yeah, okay, so this doesn't clear up. Uh, the lady doesn't return until I guess you've defeated the radio tower. Same goes for this gentleman over here. He forces you to uh, buy, I don't know, forces you, but he doesn't leave until you defeat the radio tower as well. He sells you rage candy bars. So we're all healed up. Uh, Youngster Joey. Yo, Joey, how's it going? It's, this is you. You got a minute? Let's get together and battle. I promise things will be different. 
uh, Route 30 as well be. Oh, and I also just realized not only that there's a random, like, typographic, uh, like, mark there. Yeah, we easily uh, cleared and did not lose a single battle up until clearing the rocket hideout. So uh, if you had your bet on that, uh, you you know, cool, good for you. It's minus 200. Give me a shout when you come, AO. Uh, let's, you know, why not? I mean, this, this has been under an hour of a video. Why don't we go uh, whoop youngster Joey, maybe check in on our daycare mons. And go from there. The music's gonna stay the same, right? Oh, it resets. Usually, when you fly to a city that has the same music, the music just keeps going. Uh, knock out some Pidgeys on the way. There you go. You know who you're messing with. I've been waiting. Let's battle now. There's some bonus content, guys. Youngster Joe, he's still with the one Pokemon, and it is still Rattata. It is still Rattata at level 30. Level 30. My guy, evolve it. I'll give him that. It's level 30. It's only two levels lower than Porky here, but geez. Still a one-hit KO. Critical hit. Ah, I lost again, Doc. Got it? Yeah, that's how it's going to be. Um, and now I'm getting a call from Mom. Hi, Joey. How are you? I found a useful hip shop. It's my bad with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it. Bye. Okay, so um, we might as well pluck the berry from Mr. Berry's house. Is that his name? Robert Berry. What's your name? What's your last name? So we may as well grab that and then we'll check in on our mons at the daycare, see how much they've grown, whether or not we want to pick them up. So, I mean, our options really now are battle one of two gym leaders and both of them are going to have to get battled. So do we battle Jasmine first? Do we battle Price? Jasmine does not have any trainers in her gym unless Smith updated it to be so. So let's see. Oh, I... <laughs> I want to see it. Hold on. Your hobble is growing a lot by three levels. Okay. And then how much has the Eevee grown by? The Eevee has grown by... Sterling has grown by seven. Hmm. Okay. Good job, guys. Um, so... Hoppled might... I mean, both of them may be beneficial. Because, again, the idea was we were going to evolve Sterling to be a Jolteon. Is there anything wild in here? Oh, wow. Y'all just got tentacle in your backyard? Interesting. Um, I wonder offhand in the party who can learn Thief. I'm definitely going to cast... So, off recording, I'll probably get some you know, utility Pokemon to teach Thief to. Um, there's no sense of me teaching it to any of these guys. It really is not a good uh, move for battle. It's really just there for, you know, things like we're doing, which is, you know, trying to catch a, trying to get a stone. Um, I think what we'll do right now, let's deposit a Mon so we can make room to get out... Eevee, we'll evolve it, and we'll actually put Geogirl in there, because Geogirl is a bit behind on levels, and it'll just be nice to have as an option, if we cannot get this metal code, I really don't want to take a under-evolved uh, Pokemon to the Elite Four, are we geniuses or what, do you want to see Sterling, it's growing a lot by seven. Yes, $800, take it, perfect, here's your Pokemon. So we got back Sterling, and now we're going to drop off Geogirl. Come back for it later, certainly. And you know what, why, why fool around? Let's just get, uh, let's just get uh, Sterling involved, involved.
evolved evolved it's at 20 now which is okay that's good i mean that's that's the level that we would have gotten that's the level that you get the eevee from bill so that's good you know this was a uh, hatched eevee so let's give it the thunderstone and make it into jolteon what well, throwing is evolving Hurrah! Congratulations, your Sterling has evolved into Jolteon. Does it learn something right away? No, it does not seem like it. Usually sometimes those Eevees evolve and they learn something immediately. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we have now a Jolteon and a, and a Vaporeon. I don't believe we're going to keep Jolteon the party. It's just obviously there right now. we got to make space in order to take out Geogirl and to get out Eevee and evolve it. So there are our Mons. There we go. Looking nice, looking great. And okay, we just reached about an hour. So I think that's a, as good of a time as any to say goodbye, good night, sweet dreams. Mwah. Oh yeah, thank you for watching.